Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney, our CEO, founded the organization about 14 years ago. He was on a flight uh, heading up to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and on that flight was a deceased service member being escorted home uh, by his brother. So Dan witnessed the flag drip coffin being removed from the cargo hold uh, while looking down and seeing the family there. You know, he looked at that little boy and wondered what his future would be. And so Dan did something about it. He started the Folds of Honor uh, Foundation. Folds of Honor provides educational scholarships to the spouses and kids of military members who have either been wounded or killed as a result to their service. So we provide educational scholarships all the way from kindergarten through graduating from college, uh, also trade school, certificate programs, uh, tutoring, and all these types of things. So we're in the 14th year now, and we have provided 29,000 scholarships uh, to the tune of $145 million. The gift for me is is being able to do something to better their lives. You know, something that is ultimately life changing, it's generational changing. And we've had so many kids, you know, over 700 kids this past year who are first generation college students. Over the last 13, 14 years is we've just grown uh, tremendously and is obviously requiring more space. And really, so, you know, we are very, very thankful for the members of ABC and all of the people that they represent we have a long time standing relationship with ABC. They built our original headquarters and in these companies are coming in during the middle of the pandemic and donating their time, their talents, their equipment and building uh, this incredible new office building for us. You know, the neat thing here with the incredible amount of you know generosity and uh, donations that are going on with this, it allows us as a foundation to keep the money uh, where it needs to be, and that is sending spouses and kids uh, to school. A little over 10 years ago, Associated Builders and Contractors made the decision to get involved with the Folds of Honor. They heard Major Rooney speak about uh, the mission of the Folds of Honor, what he wanted to accomplish with the organization. It was brand new at the time, and our board of directors decided way back then, before the Folds was nationally recognized, to get involved, to build them a facility, and to do it without costing the Folds of Honor any money so that they could continue to make sure that all of their uh, resources go to getting scholarships to children of soldiers who have been uh, wounded or killed in, in combat. So Associated Builders and Contractors of Oklahoma represents uh, the entire commercial construction industry across the state of Oklahoma. Fast forward to today, our organization was approached by the Folds of Honor uh, who said that they have fortunately outgrown uh, the old facility. They have grown what they have done and so their, their needs for additional space are are tremendous and our contractors once again agreed to step forward and uh, make huge donations to build this new operations center which is going to be about 10 times the size of the original headquarters that was built for the Folds of Honor. We're excited that, that we're going to have somewhere in the vicinity of 100 to 150 different companies that are going to be end up participating in this project. All of our members are stepping forward including groups like Kirby Smith who are donating equipment these general contractors who are overseeing the, the different components of this, uh, typically they're, they're cutthroat competitors and, and working hard to, to, to win work from one another. And with this project, it brings our organization together. It brings all of these competing entities together. And so, yes, when, when the call is made and we need particular items or particular scopes of work to be done and we, we put it out to our membership, they're all stepping forward and saying, Saying yes, we want to we want to do our part, and uh, we're committed to, to making sure this happens. Well, it's just the the opportunity to give back. You know, and Kirby Smith is a huge supporter of our troops. Anytime we can get involved, uh, we we definitely we want we want that opportunity. We are responsible for all the eye machines we put out in the field, excavators and dozers. It was just like I said when, when Dan contacted me, I was really excited and uh, just started putting all the game action in place to get the machine out here and, and uh, get it going for them. So. Mark has come to us 
like he said back 10, 12 years ago, and asked if we would help with the, the first push on the Folds of Honor building. And of course we said yes, donated a few pieces of equipment back then. I don't think you could say no to something like this. TriStar has stayed pretty involved with the Folds of Honor throughout the, the last 10 years. This is a, this is a pet project that's very near and dear to me. We were one of the member companies that helped and did a lot of the original site work on the original Folds of Honor buildings in 2008-2009. We are back on site to do the bulk earthwork. We're really behind his, his mission at the Folds. The old Folds of Honor is across the street. This is a uh, new building for Folds of Honor. It's going to be an exceptional building compared to the old one of, of size wise. Um, it's going to be a very nice building. But they have all kinds of other contractors coming in and doing volunteer donation work. Crossland built the, the slab. Uh, TriStar is doing the main excavation and dirt work and there's all kinds of people out here. These folks that have partnered with us, you know, and to include ABC, all their members, they are just tremendous patriots. They're so generous. Uh, we're so blessed to know them. I love being around them. I love the enthusiasm. You never hear an I can't or no. They just figure out a way uh, to get it done. They want to make sure that we are supporting these spouses and kids.